Hello, welcome back. Today we talk about the binary number system and the rele relevant terminology. Okay, so you've seen me、uh, writing some words.、Uh, you probably know. You probably don't know. Okay, so what is bit? Bit. Okay, bit is、uh, a small, tiny location in computer which can store. The binary data, okay, just one binary, okay. So bit have its a,、uh, um, you can consider it's a binary digital binary digit, okay. Let me write it down here. Binary digit. Okay, these two words.、Uh, if you kind of、uh, look at this, okay, B I I T, okay, and you kind of concatenate it, they become bit. Okay, interesting. So it's a binary digit. So what exactly is okay? So so what is digit? Digit just means one location, okay? One location, one digit, second digit, third,、uh, fourth, okay? If it is digit, we can put our normal daily life. We can,、uh, if we represent the number, it could be from,、uh, from zero. One, two, 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 whatever, to nine, right? How many combination? We have a ten, right? Ten combinations, ten possibility, ten possibilities. Okay,、uh, it is、uh, our human familiar with the ten.、Uh, we call a decimal. Okay, we call it a decimal. Hmm. I will write down this word, decimal. Actually, okay. But now go back to go back to the binary. If it's a binary digit, no, we cannot have that much. We only have a two because the binary means a two. Okay, the flip side of the coin. Okay, it's a face or the another opposite, right? Tail, face. Okay, so it's a binary.、Uh, it's because in computer we we computer need to be powered by electricity, right? The electricity have a high voltage and low voltage. We use this way to represent this status. Okay. By the way, if you interested in this, so every single location only store zero. Or one, okay. And what about two? Can you store two in a bit? No. If you only have a one location, you cannot do it because、uh, that's the capacity. Okay. So how do we do? Well, we need more locations to 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 represent the number number more than two. Okay. So,、uh, if it's a two,、uh, we will do this, right? We have a carry bit, okay, and then we set another bit as a one, and then we reset this bit to zero. So one zero means two. <laughs> okay, I say that again. One zero. Is two in binary number system. Okay, and what about three? You keep adding one. Okay, you keep adding one. So three is one one. What about four? You keep adding one, and you cannot for avoid right. So you carry you generate a carry bit, and the carry bit. 
uh, you cannot afford it, so you generate a carry bid. So number four will be one zero zero five one zero one six one one zero seven one one one. Yeah, I'm running out of space. Okay, and uh, if you keep doing that, okay, keep doing that. Uh, let's assume we have a full. Okay, I move my full location. I should have prepared better, but sorry, I have a full location. Two, three, four. Now we we've talked about uh, one, one, one as a as a seven, right? Seven in uh, tens number system. In in decimal, okay, and eight. We are going to do this, right? Nine. Nine. We can have a uh, uh, a plus one, right? So if it's a a, it's a one. Okay, it's easy to 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 do, right? And ten. What about ten? Ten is uh, eight plus two, okay, or nine plus one, okay. So you keep doing this. Eleven. What about eleven? No problem. Good job. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Hmm. Fourteen. Yes. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Let's write down it. Eleven, twelve, four, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now we have used a bit okay, to represent the number, okay, and the maximum volume, uh, maximum values will be fifteen, okay. Mm, why? Because every every single bit can be zero one zero one zero one, and from zero to fifteen, there's a uh, sixteen combinations, right? Okay. Is a uh, sixteen okay from zero? It's a sixteen combination. Okay, so four bits have a sixteen combination. If we, if you got the uh, eight bits, uh, how many combinations? Hmm. If you got the uh, eight bits, let's assume you have a uh, uh, you have some more money. <laughs> okay, you buy more bits. <laughs> Okay, think about that. Yeah, every location can have a zero one zero zero one. Okay, so that will be right a to uh, uh, power right power two to eight. That is uh, two hundred and fifty six. Combination, but the number will be from zero to two hundred and fifty-five. Okay. Yeah, you probably got a little bit headache. <laughs> okay. Uh, stick. St hold on there. <laughs> stick with me. I'm not finished yet. Okay, because now I'm keep talking about the. Final things, okay. Okay, so a bit uh, in computer we say it's a byte, okay. So you can you can consider this a bit as a byte, okay. A four bit we call it a nibble, okay. But uh, mostly we use a bit as a trunk. But 
Uh, here comes a hexadecimal. Uh, we talk about the decimal means uh, uh, number tens system, right? Okay. But what is hexadecimal? Okay. It's a number sixteens. Okay, it's number sixteens. Okay, number system. Why do we need this weird system? Uh, we already have the decimal uh, number 10 system. Why do we need that? Okay, <laughs> this is the uh, interesting things. If we, all the time, we keep uh, looking at this A bits, okay? For example, uh, let's assume we have a number one, zero, uh, one, zero, one, one, okay, one, one, okay, it is uh, the number, okay, correspond to uh, an, uh, some particular number uh, here, okay, you'll be very, very difficult to represent because uh, uh, we are not familiar with the uh, binary representation. But sometimes uh, in writing the code, you encounter uh, specify some the value, for example, the colors, colors, okay? Color, usually each component of the color element, R, R component, red, G, uh, green, blue, they are one byte, eight bits. So you may find people write uh, things like uh, uh, C, F, things like this to represent a hexadecimal. Okay, <laughs> it's a weird, right? It's a weird, right? Because uh, in hexadecimal system. Uh, because it's a uh, in one location, uh, we we when we represent the uh, things larger than the ten in our traditional tens number system, which has been used, uh, is already two digits, right? Because the uh, one zero one zero is two digit. Okay, so we need to turn turn this kind of form. Uh, system uh, in a way to make it as a one one symbol okay so I don't know who invented this but <laughs> somebody invented this okay we use A to represent 10 and B 11 C and D 13 F now D, E, E, 14, and F. From 0, 1, 2, till 9, this is a 10 symbol. And the add this A, B, C, D, E, F all together, which allows to represent the 16 combinations. But students who the first time uh, encounter this, uh, what is A, what is D, we are kind of, uh, <laughs> of we're kind of uh, feel surprised, right? But when you come to uh, programming, you will see this uh, happens very often. Okay, that is why we need to a little bit theory, a little bit uh, computer uh, number system training. Okay, so uh, to wrap up, uh, we use, you can see some pattern in this example. This four bit or one nibble can represent a, a single hexadecimal number. Okay, another four Okay, high nibbles will be represent another. Okay, 
So that's it. I hope you are still here. Hi, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol, are you are you still there? Who's Carol? Can somebody find the Carol? <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Carol. I will see you next time. Bye bye.